Hey guys, Colin here from iCaliper Growing, and today we're looking at our begonia cuttings that we took just over five and a half weeks ago. Uh, these were really easy to take. What we did is just take begonia cuttings and propagate them in two gallon smart pot transplanters. And I placed these two gallon transplanters in a propagation dome that I made out of a kiddie pool and some plastic. Uh, this was really easy to make. All I used was some PVC that I cut uh, one piece a little bit longer than the other um, and bent them uh, to fit inside the frame of that kiddie pool and then I just covered that with plastic and folded it in two spots so it would fit over that round dome uh, and then taped the back part of it down uh, so that way I could just open the front and then just close it uh, and that worked really well to keep really high humidity. Um, it was actually so high that I had to check it periodically for mold. Um, the first couple days I didn't really check anything and I had mold pretty bad on one of my pots. So I pulled that one out um, and then sprayed everything with a safer garden fungicide. Uh, that worked really well. It's OMRI listed so you don't have to worry about any chemicals. Um, and just spray all of your stems and the top of my soil uh, periodically and that helped combat any mold that I had. All of my other cuttings took, so I have a nine total uh, with three in each pot and these are going to be perfect for uh, transplanting here in the spring. Just pull them right out and put them into their larger container uh, and they will be growing uh, really well by then. I've actually had to be pinching flowers still. Um, they've they've grown a little bit. These were probably rooted really well in just two weeks. Um, so they rooted really fast. Uh, but you just continue uh, pinching those flowers to encourage vegetative growth while they're real small. Um, and then here a couple more weeks we'll be able to move them outside. If you are using a humidity dome, be sure to slowly introduce your plants to less humidity by just pulling up the edge of that dome or that plastic that you're using just to avoid any shock that they may experience. All right, well, thanks for checking in, guys. Be sure to like our videos and follow all of our other social media accounts as we're always doing giveaways and promotions, things like that. All right, we'll see you next time.